Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we are going to be looking at my luxury perfume collection. Now, I have everything <laughs> in a box over here. I don't usually keep my perfumes like this, by the way. I had this box sitting there for the last two weeks, and I finally found a use for it because my perfumes usually stay on my top shelf, and my counter is made out of glass, so Miss Butterfingers, especially the last couple of days, <laughs> didn't want to risk taking down the perfume bottles and dropping them, so it's literally there with the box putting them in, so yes, I found a good use for the box and I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> Before we get into things, if you could hit that like button because it helps me out loads, and if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications so you never ever miss a video. I post up every Wednesday and Saturday at 3pm and we focus on fashion and luxury. Without further ado, let's dive into this beautiful world of perfumes. Now, I'm just going to throw it out there, I am no expert because Believe you me, when people talk about top notes, heart notes, base notes, etc, etc, I'm like, huh? <laughs> All I smell is something good. <laughs> I can't tell you of what notes is what. Like, no, it's impossible. Um, I just, I would love to learn about it. And to be completely honest, I've been watching recently, like, a lot more. Well, not a lot more because I don't have a lot of time to do that. But when I do get a moment, like, maybe when I'm sitting in the toilet. <laughs> and I'm, I'm having a, a moment of quiet time, then I'll put on something and it's usually at the moment perfume related because I do want to learn more about perfume and the different notes and how to, not establish them, what's the word? How to, how to ugh, notice them, how to, how to spot them. Um, because yeah, I am, I'm really bad. Like, you know, when you've got people go, oh, there's a hint of coffee in that. Oh, there's some, some rose and vanilla in tuber of this and I'm like, what? How do you know? Like, how? How? How are you getting all these scents and breaking them down? And then there's just some sense that, like, gardenia. What the hell is gardenia? <laughs> is that a flower? Is it a coffee bean? Like, I don't know. So there's a lot. Like, when it comes to perfume and the world of perfumes, there is just so, so much to learn. And it's, it's definitely something that I've been very fascinated in. So I'm probably going to start with my most expensive one. And that is going to be this baby right over here from Louis Vuitton. Now, this is the oldest bottle of perfume here. It is so, so old. I've had this for definitely more than three years. And yes. I know, perfume does go off, however, it still smells good, and it's actually changed colour. When you originally buy this, it's in a light pink, but mine has turned yellow, but it's still fine, so until it starts smelling bad, I'm sorry, I'm never ever not going to use it. I'm the type, and the reason why I can keep my perfumes for a very, very long time, and why they last me so long, is because I still have that broke person mentality. <laughs> Back in the day when I used to get perfumes, I had to make it last, okay? So you only used perfume on special occasions. Whereas I would say the last few months now, I'm like, hang on, you can afford perfume now, use it. Even if you're not going out for a special occasion, just use it because it just sits there and perfume does go off. So use it. <laughs> So I'm making a very, very conscious effort to do so, even when I'm at home or if I'm just going to the shops, just to put a little bit on. I have some scents in here which are definitely on the lighter side, so if you don't want something too strong, then they're perfect for you. This is a really, really beautiful smelling perfume. The smell that it gives your clothes after you've worn this is oh luxurious. I love it. And there's a particular note in here which I could not tell you for the life of me, but it just reminds me of Louis Vuitton. <laughs> It doesn't even make sense because that note isn't really prominent in any of their other perfumes But I don't when I smell it. It just maybe it's because it's it is a Louis Vuitton And that's why I associate that smell with Louis Vuitton. I don't know I've never really had any other perfumes from there But the Rose de Vence is definitely like I love 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 when I had bought it It was 180 pounds. It is now 215 pounds. So um, yes <laughs> That is how old this bottle of perfume is. Now we're gonna talk about Chanel, and this is the Coco Chanel Paris. I don't like this perfume. This might be a little bit older than this one. It hasn't changed color, which is a good thing, but it's not a smell that I particularly like. Well, the last time that I tried it, hold on, let's see. Mm. No, mm-mm, we're not a fan. No, no, no. <laughs> 
Maybe if I spray it on my skin, this is one thing that I learned. If you want to know what perfume will actually smell like, spray it on your skin and leave it there for a couple of hours before you decide on purchasing it. Usually what I do whenever I go shopping is I go to the perfume counter, try on all the perfumes, I literally have patches <laughs> all over my body and I mentally take note of what perfume is what, spray it on my skin, go shopping and then come back to the perfume station, smell all the perfumes and then whichever one I like the smell of after two hours or half an hour, whatever it is, that will usually be the perfume that I buy because the way perfume smells when you initially spray it will smell completely different to when it sits on your skin and starts reacting with the chemicals on your skin. So I would highly recommend before you write off a perfume completely, spray it on your skin because the way that it reacts on your skin and you know the chemistry between the perfume and your skin, it might change the way that you feel. And there's actually an example of that in this box right here, which when I initially smelled, I was like, ugh. <laughs> I am gonna test it out now that I know all this stuff about perfume and I'm gonna see how my skin reacts to it and maybe, just maybe, I might change my mind on this. But yeah, it's not really a perfume that I would recommend to anyone. Although, now smelling it in the air, it, it's definitely settled. I think the initial spray of this is very strong and very harsh and I'm not a fan of that. My next perfume is from, no surprise, Hermes. And it is the Lambre de Mervil Mervilis. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite perfumes. I love this perfume, particularly in the winter because it is definitely a very, very warm perfume. Very warm, very sweet. Hold on, let me make sure that I'm, I'm describing this right because I don't want to give you the wrong information, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yes, I'm right. Okay, so this is very warm, very, very sweet. I love this perfume in the winter. Definitely not in the summer, too sweet for the summer for me and not fresh enough. Like I said, I am no expert, but what I have learned since I've been on my little perfume hype is that a common note that is in a lot of my perfumes is amber and powdery. So I feel like those two, anything with those two notes, I will more than likely end up liking. Um, but yeah, this one smells really, really nice on your clothes, on your skin, and it is decent when it comes to the amount of time wearing on your skin. It's it's not one of those perfumes that fades within the first few minutes or so, you know what I mean? Like there are definitely some perfumes and I will be showing you one of them that literally will last a couple of hours on your skin and then it's gone, you don't smell anything. But there are tricks and tips towards that which I will mention. Right, moving on to, what shall I move on to? We'll move on to another Hermes. This is the Twilly. And this is one of those perfumes that I did not like the very, very first time that I ever smelt it. Did not like it, was like, ooh. <laughs> um, and then I smelt it again a second time and turns out that I actually really like it. This I tend to use more in the summer. It's not, I would say, it's not a winter smell. I find it very, very fresh, but this definitely smells more like a floral perfume as opposed to like musky or, let me see what the notes are, I'm curious actually. So I was right guys, we've got the um, white floral actually I can smell the warm spicy. Ooh, I'm learning, I'm learning guys. <laughs> you've got tuberose, you've got woody, you've got fresh, which I said, it's very, very fresh. You've got powdery, which I did say is a common um, scent that I've got in my um, collection. Scent, is it? Scent accord, sorry. And then you have animalic, I don't know what that is, and vanilla. It has a very, very pretty bottle, as you guys can see, and this one was actually engraved with that cute little teddy bear. This little charm is meant to be taken off. I don't know where you're meant to put it, but it is a little charm, and the little bow right over here, and the lid is not magnetic. It's a click kind of lid, and it looks like a hat. So, yeah, super, super cute little bottle. Moving on to the most unique looking perfume of all in my whole entire collection. Um, we have the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. Now, hmm, this one when I first got, I loved it. So much so, this is actually almost finished. There's a little bit and 
you guys won't be able to see it because you can only see it in certain light. Even for me, it's a little bit difficult, but it's literally right over here. It reminds me very much of my younger days. It's one of those perfumes that I was bought, um, I've used it, but I will never really buy again because I feel like my taste has definitely changed. And this particular smell, it's very, very sweet, but it reminds me, and there's something in there, there's a note in there that reminds me of the scents that I would wear when I was a teenager growing up, you know, back in the day when I used to wear Tommy Girl as a scent. That was one of my favorites. Moving on to an oil. This one is not luxury and is actually one of my cheapest perfumes. And it's an oil-based perfume, as you guys can see. No, I need to throw this one away. Oh no. This is the first time I've ever smelled a perfume. That's actually got, it doesn't smell anything like it did. Okay, well, oh well, that one's out the window. Scratch it, but it did smell nice when I had it. <laughs> if you are interested in buying the perfumes and you're not too sure because like me, you know nothing about perfumes, order testers. That's what I done for a few of the perfumes in here. I ordered the testers and I tried them out over a period of a few days and then after that I ordered the perfume if I like it because sometimes you just don't know like the Rouge, Baccarat Rouge, whatever, you know, the Mason Baccarat Rouge, Baccarat, whatever that really expensive perfume that actually smells like rubbish, sorry I know it's a very unpopular opinion probably but I could not understand the hype behind this perfume like it's, oh, it smells awful <laughs> Sorry, if I insulted your perfume. Okay, moving on from the perfume that's gone off and needs to go in the bin. We are looking at another favorite of mine. Dun, 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 dun. We have Byrodo Gypsy Water. Listen, Linda, I love this perfume so, so, so much. I don't know why, but there is a tone and a smell in here. This I would use all year round. It doesn't matter whether it's summer, winter, autumn, spring. I would use this at all times because it is such a light smelling perfume but it's light enough that I can still smell it and I don't know why but for some reason when I spray it around here I smell it throughout the day when I spray it on my arm it fades very very quickly and I stop smelling it but around this area for some reason I don't know what's going on with the chemistry up here versus down there but chemistry on here for this perfume is perfect because I literally smell it on myself throughout the day and I'm like Oh, I smell good, I smell good. <laughs> it's up there with one of my faves for every single day use, it's gorgeous. The main accords for this one, woody, aromatic, fresh spicy, citrus, powdery, amber, vanilla, balsamic, warm and spicy. Oh, sorry, warm, spicy, <laughs> not warm and spicy. I think the reason why I love this perfume so, so much is the fact that when you spray it on as well, it's not too like, <laughs> you're trying to breathe through all the fumes because you know how like this one for example this when you put it on you're like <clears throat> and probably a while after I'm not sure I need to test it out but there are a few perfumes one more which I'm gonna show you which when you initially spray it you're like oh, this is horrible but yeah gorgeous gorgeous perfume highly recommend for everyday use if you are a migraine sufferer because I know some people do suffer with migraines when it comes to perfumes this is definitely a scent that you'll be able to use and not suffer Headwise, you like your head won't suffer from the effects of strong smelling perfume. <laughs> we have it from Jo Malone, and this is Peony and Blush Suede. Love this. This is my winter, no, sorry, summer <laughs> perfume. I love this perfume for the summer. This one is very, very floral, but you also have a slight musky undertone in there, which again is something that I do like in my perfumes but I tend to use this more in the summer as opposed to winter. It's not a perfume that I would ever gravitate to during the winter because of how fresh it is. I prefer using fresher perfumes during the summer and then in the winter, I use all my, like my sweet warm. This one's really, really nice once it settles down on your skin. Initially, you might not be too sure and that was the way that I felt when I first sprayed it. I was like, eh. <laughs> I'm not 100%. Most of my scents are predominantly for winter time and scents that I like to use in winter versus summer. So I needed something more fresh, something a little bit more floral. And that's why I got these two. Well, not me, but husband got them for me. He was like, let me go buy the perfumes when I smelled, showed him. He's like, oh, they smell nice. And so he got me this one and this one as well. This one, again, is very fresh. I've got some floral in there, but it's not as strong as the as the Joe Malone one in my opinion. 
The Jo Malone one is definitely, it's it's more floral. Out of the two of them, the Jo Malone or this one, if I had to pick between one or the other and I couldn't take both, I'd probably pick this one. I've just smelt the leather in the Jo Malone. I have to go back to it because I'm smelling it. It smells of leather. Does it have leather? Oh my goodness, am I going crazy? I'm smelling the leather. Yes, it has leather. I'm smelling that leather in this. This is my most expensive perfume in my whole collection, okay? It was 235 pounds. I still remember the price of it. That's how much it hurt me, but I do not regret it one bit because if there's a perfume that makes you just, ah, it's this one. Love it. This I definitely wear more in the winter as opposed to summer, again, because it is a much warmer fragrance. It's very, very beautiful. I'll just read the notes for this one. So in here you have white floral, which I can't really smell. I can smell the honey. You've got sweet, tuberose, fruity, animalic, floral, lactonic. I mean, what the hell's lactonic? Sounds like I'm lactose intolerant, but apparently you can get that in perfume and smell form. The reason why this one is more expensive is because from what I understand, it's an extract. It's not made in the same way that normal perfumes are made, which is why it also comes in a much smaller bottle. It means you need less anyway, so thankfully, <laughs> I don't need to drench myself and bath in it because it, I would probably cry at every spray if I did have to do that. It's got such a strong lingering smell and your clothes just, if you're not washing your stuff over and over again, your whole wardrobe will end up smelling of this perfume and I love that. Really, really, really like that about perfume. It just makes you not ever want to wash your clothes. <laughs> we are moving on to a very popular fragrance by the name of Pen Holligans and it is a Oh, see, smelling it like that, I'm like, oh, it smells horrible. This is one of those perfumes that, believe me when I say, you need to try, you need to let it sit before you, you buy, because initially, if you're anything like myself, the minute you smell this, you're going to hate it. I did not like this at all the moment I smelt it. I was like, oh, it smells awful. Why would anyone buy this perfume? However, when I went home, and they usually give you, I'll show you what they give you, two seconds. Wait, wait, wait. When you go to Penhaligans in Harrods, you know how usually they have like sticks of paper which you spray on and you smell? No, 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 they don't do paper. They do little cloth thingy-majigs that look like this. I mean, how fancy is that? <laughs> when she sprayed it on the, the handkerchief, I, 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 I smelled it, I was like, oh, okay. Um, what do I do with this? She's like, oh no, you can keep it. I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I took it, took it away. A little souvenir, thanks. And it was free too, nothing better than free stuff. Um, and yeah, I just kept it because I'm, I'm sad like that. <laughs> and it's the little things, I know. Um, but yeah, really, really luxurious if you ask me. I mean, to give you a little piece of polyester or something like that, but still, I mean, I've never seen any brand give you a silk cloth to try their perfumes. No, not silk. No, it's luxurious that you even get one of these, but it's not that luxurious. Piece of silk cloth. <laughs> so she sprayed it on this, and as the days went by, I, I kid you not, the perfume lasted for a good while on here before it really started fading and I couldn't smell anything anymore. And that is one thing that I will mention about Penhaligans. Penhaligans? Penhaligans? Penhaligans, sorry. Um, when you spray it on your skin, it won't last that long. And I noticed it with a couple of other of the perfumes, which I was actually put off mine because of that. Initially, I had no idea that actually some perfumes work better on clothes versus skin. And this is exactly the case with this one. I feel like this lasts a lot longer when it's on your clothes. And initially, it is definitely one of those perfumes that you will spray and probably hate. It needs to settle down. And once it's settled and merged with your clothing and you know, you're left with those base notes, it really, 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 really does smell nice. No, okay, the bottle isn't that impressive, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, it has bow tie, I guess that's what's cute about it. I don't, is it meant to be a gentleman? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, nothing, nothing that's like, wow, it's a cute bottle. What I will say though, the packaging is wow, okay? I've got it right here, let me show you guys. Look at it, it's fabulous. It's in plastic too, I mean, Oh, let's, there we go. 
that looks fabulous, but the bottle, not so much. I'm not like, oh wow, it's an amazing bottle. My last and final, now this one, guys, it is stunning. The bottle, everything, beautiful. <laughs> and it's by Jojoff, Jojoff Zosoff. <laughs> Herba Pura. This perfume, oh my gosh, when I say it is the strongest perfume you will ever buy, I'm not over exaggerating that. This perfume, whether it's on your skin, whether it's on your clothes, this perfume lasts ages and you don't need a lot of it either. You know, two puffs, literally, and maybe one on the wrist <laughs> for good measure. It's such a strong perfume but it is gorgeous, it is stunning, it is just, oh! This one I will be using during winter and summer because it's just that gorgeous. Initially, it is definitely very, very tropical, very, very fruity, but then it dies down and it goes into a beautiful, musky, fruity concoction, which I couldn't explain to you guys, but it's just amazing. It's something that you need to try because I've never smelled anything like it. When it comes to longevity, I've never used a perfume that's lasted as long as this. Never, ever, ever. It lasts so long that when I use the tester that I bought and I, you know, just on my neck, <laughs> the next morning I smelt, still smelt of it. My pillow smelt of the perfume. It's that strong. It's not a cheap perfume, but it's definitely well worth the money in my opinion. I, it's one of those perfumes and I always associate like the longer a perfume lasts, the better and the better for value it is because of the fact that it lasts for long and you know, you're getting value for money, right? If something lasts long, this is value for money, heavily, heavily. It's a gorgeous smelling perfume. Very, very, very tropical, like I said, but you've got that, you've got that musk in there as well, which tones it down but initially definitely you'll smell it and you'll be like it's very fruity it's very um it's very what's the word fruity <laughs> in here you have the notes which i love you've got fruity you've got citrus musky powdery amber fresh spicy animal animalic oh I would love to know what animalic is. So you've got a few notes in there which are my favorites, the musky powdery vanilla. If there is one perfume that I would highly, 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 highly recommend in this whole entire collection. Oh, this is a hard decision because I was gonna say this one, but then I also really like this one. Oh my gosh, get both of them. <laughs> this can be your summer perfume, summer and winter, because I wear this in the winter as well. You don't get smells like this. I've never smelled anything like this. It's one of those perfumes that gets better the more it reacts with your skin and oh my god, look, I'm getting goosebumps guys. It's one of my favorite perfumes. <laughs> this is like a velvety material that's covering the bottle and oh, and on that note, thank you so, so much for watching guys. I hope you have a beautiful weekend and a beautiful start of the week. I shall catch you in Wednesday's video. Take care. Bye.